43 and 19, Isaiah 43 and 19. Those are your Bibles. Isaiah 43 and 19. And the Lord spoke unto Isaiah and said, For I am about to do something new, Lord have mercy. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. Then we're going to Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 is being disturbed read in our hearings, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. It says, for everything there is a season. For everything there is a season. And then Ecclesiastes 3 and 11 said, yet God has made everything beautiful for his own time. Yet, God has made everything beautiful for its own time. So with that being said, God said, I'm about to do something new. Our topic or our theme this morning shall be, your season will come. Your season will come. We're in winter time. And Deacon Lewis and myself, we've been checking our phones daily and it keeps has it keeps giving us this icon of snow. <laughs> and we get excited and we go back on our phone and that snow icon is coming. <laughs> he gets kind of disappointed because he likes snow. <laughs> Deep down, he likes to take his truck, his four by four truck, and ride through the snow. <laughs> it makes him feel more manly, I guess. Since we wonder, I guess makes him feel more like a man to take his big truck and ride through the snow to let folks know that, hey, I can ride through the snow. <laughs> so winter time is here. And God is taking us through our winter time. The winters of our life allow us to experience some, to experience some things. Some of us are at winter time right now. Some of us are about to approach spring. And don't even realize. Winter time. Sickness falls. Winter time. Sometimes your money is not just where you need to be, but there. Winter time. Winter time. Sometimes your loved ones just don't understand. They don't understand what you're going through. Winter time. But God said, I'm about to do something new in your life. Help me, Holy Ghost. Spring is approaching. How are those springs approaching? I went out there. Yesterday, and I look and I saw my daffodils peeping out. That gave me a good feeling. I went out there in my greenhouse. Lord have mercy. Being a student. Even in my greenhouse, I had planted some seeds week before last, and they were popping up through the summer. That gave me hope. That gave me a glimpse of new life. And so it is. You may be in your winter time. God said, I'm about to do something new. Can I get a witness? He said, see, I have already begun. Do you not see it? Do you not know that God will make a way? Y'all know where I'm going. Out of nowhere. Well, we have to take this 
responsibilities in the fall time. I like fall because fall is makes the flowers that uh, they're not those that those flowers that don't need a lot of sun that begin to get so beautiful. And the fall time is just the right season to go out and still you still can wear your shorts. Those of you who wear shorts, amen. You still can wear your shorts and still be comfortable. But during the fall time, you need to prepare yourself for the winter time. Because winter is coming just as sure you're born to die. Only by doing so can we be ready to prepare ourselves for another winter. Every fall, you're preparing yourself. You're putting a little bag. You're putting a little bit of pinto beans bag. Putting a little bit more rice bag. You're putting a, you can not peaches. You can not peaches? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can not tomatoes. You can not soup. I miss the old saints because they would call me on the phone and say, Little Sylvia, you can come over here and get you some canned goods. Mother Cora, a couple years ago, Called me on the phone. She said, I got something for you. And so I went over to Sister Mother Cora Smith and she had me soup can in the jar. Mm -hmm. Sister Camel, she had tomatoes can in the jar. She had pizza can in the jars. Lord have mercy. And then Sister Ellen gave me a call. She said, Pastor, I got something for you. She had made some pear preserves in the jar. She made some jelly in the jar. She was preparing herself. They were preparing themselves for the winter. Mm -hmm. Where are you going, Pastor? In this life, we must prepare ourselves for war. Mm -hmm. War is coming sooner than you think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Judgment is coming sooner than you think. But God said, but for I a new thing. Right. See, I've already begun. Y'all just stay with me. I'm going somewhere. He said, do you not see it? He said, I'm going to make a pathway through the wilderness. Even in your winter, I'm going to bring spring and summer. No matter what you're going through, I have a ram in the bush. Help me hold it on Genesis 8 and 22 says, as long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, as long as the earth endures, I will be with you. Whatever season that you're already in, know that God is with you. He's making everything beautiful for his time. Mm -hmm. To every season. Everything got a time. Mm -hmm. It's a time to live. It's a time to die. It's time to cry. It's time to laugh. Lord have mercy. It's time to plant. It's a time to pluck up. To every season there's a time. Well, I want to talk about a few of the seasons that you might be going through during this winter time. You might be going through dry season. Hmm, dry season? What are you talking about, Pastor? That's a tough season. Trust me, I know I've been there. I've been through dry season. This is a time when we as Christians, we're supposed to go, we, we, we're supposed to hear from the Lord all the time, but we go through a spiritual dryness. We can't hear the Lord. It seems like we can't feel him. It's when God is quiet. You can't hear his voice. You can't sense his presence like you did before. Y'all ever been there? Mm -hmm. He seemed very distant. One of the keys to getting through this precarious season is realizing that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. Even though he's not talking to you. Even though you can't hear him, even though you can't feel him, just know that he's still there. Amen. What do you do, Pastor? You keep.
keep on talking to him. Because eventually, he's going to speak back. Uh, dry season, Lord, have mercy. Be persevering and know that God is still there. If you're living, he's still there. Lord, have mercy. If you're still above and not the deep, he's still there. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In this season, it's good to do a self-examination. Why did I go wrong? What's going on? Why can't I feel his presence? Why can't I hear his voice? What did I do? Who did I harm? Did I not read my word like I needed to be doing? Maybe I need to confess some things to you, Lord. Ask you to forgive me. I need to repent and draw closer to you. Because he's a loving and forgiving father. Yes. Lord have mercy. He said, if you call, I will answer. Mm -hmm. He said, if you knock at the door, he said, I'll open up. If you seek, you shall find. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Psalm 37, 7 say, be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him. Be still and know that I am the Lord thy God. So if he's not speaking, you can't hear his voice, you just keep on talking because he's listening. <laughs> he's still hearing you. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. You're in your dry season. But guess what? Dry season don't last always. This is good. This is good for me, y'all. Dry season don't last forever. This season, too, will change. There will be a change in this season. Lord, have mercy. And then there's the second season. That's the waiting season. Mm. Waiting season. What you waiting on? And waiting is not easy. Mm -hmm. You wait on the Lord to move. Mm -hmm. You wait on the Lord to heal your body. You wait on your change to come. Wait not saying on the Lord. God's going to strengthen your heart. He's going to strengthen your spirit. Wait, I say, wait, I say on the Lord. Don't wait on man. Wait on the Lord. Hang in there. You're going to be able to tell the story one day. I made it over. You can get through this season. Because God said, I'll never leave you. nor forsake you. He didn't say, I'm not going to talk to you. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. It's in the still, quiet voice. I'll meet you always, even to the end of the world. What you doing, Lord? He's pruning you. He's making you over in your dressing. In your waiting season. Mm -hmm. He said, I got some things that I just need to cut off of. Got some things I need to cut here and there off of him to make him a better Christian. Amen. This is good. Amen. He's making you ready for your overflow. <laughs> He's making you ready for the next season to come. He's making you ready for your increase. Lord, have mercy. Thank Help me, Holy Ghost. So, however long it takes, wait, I say on the Lord. Yeah. Be of good cheer, and He shall strengthen your heart. Yeah. Well, that's something called a grinding season. Mm. This is a busy season. This is the My children need me. My husband needs me. My job needs me. My house cleaning needs me. I got all these things that are going against the grain on me. But this is your grinding season. Remember, you got 24 hours in a day and seven days a week. Right. <laughs> so you need to find some time within that 24 hours 
to rest your spirit Amen. and to rest your soul. Amen. Lord, have mercy. There will be tasks. I ain't ready to come on <laughs> in your life that yeah. you need to do. <laughs> Attaching yourself to your priorities, what you need to do. Your first priority is God alone. Yeah. God, I serve and him alone. You remember when Jesus was going through the wilderness? For the days he passed, and the devil showed himself strong, but he did not win. I heard the devil say, Lord, have mercy. You can turn those stones into bread if you're that hungry, if you allow me to paraphrase. But I heard Jesus say, man. Should not be about bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. I heard him say, if you're all you say you are, you can throw yourself down off of this mountain, and God will take care of you, and you won't dash your foot. The Lord had rest against the stone. He was using God's word. To get even with Jesus. But I heard Jesus say, Get thee behind me, Satan. Lord, have mercy. So, while you're going through your grand season, you need to tell them that that old devil, he need to back up and leave you alone. Lord, have mercy. In your grand season, the devil will come and try to tip you and tell you you are nobody. And the Lord has forsaken you. You got to use God's word and give the devil back what God has given you. Because God is still with you. And the last season, and I'm going to leave you alone. That season is your test and your try, you see. You're going to go through hard times in your season. But you got to know that God is right there with you. You got to go through some crying seasons. Yeah. Lord have mercy. But I heard the Lord say, I'm taking your tears and I'm bottling them up in a bottle. And when it's time for due season, I'm going to pour out joy. Anybody ready for a new season? Yeah. This season too, this test and trial season, is going to go away. And joy going to come in the morning. We've been made do for a night. The joy comes in the morning. I'm glad that God is taking me through this season. Guess what, y'all? I'm getting ready for joy season. I'm getting ready for the summer season. The one that I've been through the winter season. Lord have mercy with tribe and tribulation. I've been through the season of moaning and groaning. I've been in the prayer room. Lord have mercy. Anybody in here been in the prayer room? Can I hear you say yeah? You've been in the prayer room. But guess what? When you get in the prayer room,
Yeah. Right. 